Good evening, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Gragg, and welcome to Good Night Story Time with Mrs. Gragg. I hope that you've had a wonderful week. It's been a beautiful week, that's for sure. And I know that I've had a wonderful day, and I hope that you have too. Um, if you hop on to hear the book, let me know that you're on because this thing doesn't tell me who's on unless you type it and write me and say, this is so-and-so, I'm on, or I'm here to watch the book. Um, just leave me a comment so I know that you're on, boys and girls. And I'm so excited to read to you today's book because it's a silly book and it's kind of fun. So, hey, Jacob. Hey, how are you, darling? I sure do miss you. And I hope you're having a great week. Today was a good day for Miss Greg. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Amelia. Hey, sweeties. So good to see y'all. I miss y'all so much. Hey, Miss Simpson. Love you. Um, but anyway, today was a good day for Miss Greg. I did a whole bunch of schoolwork. Hey, Maddie. Hey, darling. And I mean, and I talked to a bunch of parents today trying to help them get on the computer um, to do the iReady program. So it's been a real busy day. And then after all my schoolwork, I got to go pick some daisies. And I even put them back here so you can see how beautiful they are. And I got to, hey, Bella. Hey, darling. Hey, Miss Hill. Good to see y'all. And then me and my daughter went and got coffee because you know that's Miss Greg's favorite drink in the world. And how am I going to get through these long days without some coffee? I can't. So, whoops, let me see if I see anybody else. Hey, Miss Farrell, I miss you too. And I miss all my reading buddies. And I'm going to try to join you tomorrow, Miss Farrell, for your um, lunch Zoom. And I'm excited. If you're in Mrs. Greg's class, tomorrow night is such a special night because we're having a PJ party together. Hey, D Heart Girls. Hey, Haley. Hey, Payson. I miss y'all too. Um, and tomorrow night, anyway, we're having a pajama party and we're going to bring our favorite stuffed animals. And hey, Paisley. Hey, Miss Simpson. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Leonardo. Oh my goodness. And I see Scott's on. Hey, Scott. But anyway, tomorrow night we're having our pajama party. And oh, hey, Jackson. I miss you too. And we're going to wear our PJs and we're going to bring our favorite stuffed animal or it could even be your real pet. That's up to you because Miss Gray just said a furry animal. Now you could bring a real one or you could bring a stuffed animal. Hey, Miss Webb, I miss you too. But anyway, we're going to do that live Zoom tomorrow night at 8 o'clock if you're in Miss Gray's class. And Miss Simpson, and we can't wait to see all of y'all. And the coolest thing about it is, you're going to get to see each other and all your friends. Because I know you have enjoyed seeing Miss Greg, but you haven't got to see your friends. Now, Tucker, you've been good all day, and now you're wanting to be loud. You can't be loud. Come here, say hey to the boys and girls. Look up here. Come here. Look up here. Say hey. Look, Tucker, look. Look over here. He's being a rascal, boys and girls. And I knew that when I got on here, he was going to be a, a little rascal. But you got to be quiet, Tucker, so Miss Gray can read the book. Oh, hey, Lolly. It's good to see you, too. Now, okay. Miss Gray's going to read her book. And before I start, i got to put these magic green glasses on because I can't see. And, boys and girls, when you turn 50, whoo. It all goes downhill after that. You have to have your magic reading glasses when you turn 50. There's just something about that number. Anyway, boys and girls, the name of this book is called The Wonky Donkey. And I sometimes feel like this wonky donkey in my life. And you might feel like this sometimes too. The words and the music is written by Craig Smith. And the illustrations are by Cats Cowley. That means that's who drew the pictures in the book. Now, the cool thing about this is if you go to Scholastic.com with a backwards slash and type in wonky donkey, 
there is a song that you can listen to. And now I have my Tucker and he is wanting to play. And this, this is not going to work out. So, Tucker, you're going to have to be good. The wonky donkey. Thank y'all for being patient, boys and girls. The wonky donkey. This is a short book, but it's a funny book. I was walking down the road, and I saw... And he only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. Look at that donkey. He's only got three legs. That's just pitiful. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yeehaw! He only had three legs and one eye. He was a winky wonky donkey. All right, boys and girls, everybody give me your best wink. Like this donkey, practice your winking skills. We do that sometimes in kindergarten, it's hard. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yeehaw! He only had three legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. Yeehaw! He was a honky tonky winky wonky donkey. Do you like listening to country music, boys and girls? Miss Gragg does too. When I was in high school, a long time ago, I used to love to listen to country music. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yeehaw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music and he was quite tall and slim. He was a wanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. You see how tall and slim he is, boys and girls? That's what Miss Gragg wants to look like. She wants to look like that, too. I was walking down the road, and I saw a donkey. Yee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim, and he smelled really really bad. He was a stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Now, if you look closely at this picture, boys and girls, the illustrator drew some yellow, stinky stuff coming out, and it stinks so bad that the bird has passed out. Now, that is gross. He's a stinky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. And that morning he got up early and he hadn't had any coffee. Oh Lord, boys and girls. Now I can go ahead and tell you that's not going to work because Miss Gregg always has to have her morning coffee or it's just not going to be a good day. So guess what? He was a cranky, stinky, dinky, wanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. See how cranky he is? He's so cranky. Miss Greg doesn't like to be cranky. That's why she always has her coffee every morning. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yee-haw! He only had three eggs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. That morning he got up early and he hadn't had any coffee. And he was always getting up to some mischief. Now look, boys and girls, what's he doing? He's out there trying to get somebody's underwear. He was a hanky Cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Ooh, that's a mouthful, boys and girls. See how silly he is? I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to the music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. 
And he, that morning he got up early and he hadn't had any coffee. He was always getting up to some mischief, but he was quite good looking. He was a spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Now look at him, boys and girls. Look at how handsome he is. He's got his glasses on, he's got his teeth shining, he is ready for the girls. So he's a spunky hanky. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Let me show you. Isn't that funny, boys and girls? <laughs> This book just made me crack up when I when I read it for the first time. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm from Wilkes County, so I can say he hauled really, really good because we have lots of donkeys. Even my grandpa had a donkey when Miss Bragg was a little girl, and I rode that crazy thing. Isn't that funny? But the good thing is, they're kind of wild, but it didn't throw my mouth. So it was pretty cool. Now, boys and girls, what I want you to do, oh, I got more friends. Oh, I got Miss Myers. Hey, Miss Myers. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> I got all kinds of friends, boys and girls. Thank y'all for joining. I, I appreciate it so much. But anyway, what I want you to do is I want you to think back to all of the sequence of events that happened in the story. And I want you to see if you can recall and tell your mom and dad what happened first and second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth. Can you tell me the sequence of events? Can you tell your mom and dad that? Because you gotta have a really good memory. It's like playing the memory game. You gotta have a really good memory to remember the sequence of events of the wonky donkey. Well, boys and girls, like I told you, go to scholastic.com slash mark wonky donkey and you can listen to the song. Miss Scribe went and listened to it. I really wish I could play the guitar and sing it to you, but I can't do that. So the best I could do was read a book. <laughs> but anyway, boys and girls, come back next week, next Thursday at 7.30, same time, same place, and Miss Grab has another special book for you, and I can't wait to read it to you. Boys and girls, y'all are so special. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for always showing Miss Grab's support, and I just want to say I love you and I miss you. Miss Simpson misses you. We talk every day about how it's just so different not seeing our kids every day, and it's really kind of sad. So I just want you to know we love you and we miss you. I hope that you're reading lots of books. You can read to yourself. You can read to your parents, and your parents can read to you. Because I'm going to tell you what, when my kids were little, boys and girls, I tried to always read to my kids every night. And now, guess what? They've grown up, and my daughter loves to read. And so does my son. And when before before he goes to bed, he always reads books. And my daughter reads books all the time. So find something that you love to, to learn about or read about. And I guarantee you that you'll learn to love to read, boys and girls. So always find something that you're interested in. That's my advice. And I appreciate all of you. I see all my friends. Thank y'all so much. But anyway, I won't keep you any longer, but I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you're in my class, make sure you join the Zoom tomorrow night at eight o'clock and we'll have our pajama party with our stuffed animal. And Miss Scribe's gonna read you another wonderful, wonderful book, okay? So I love you, I miss you, and I can't wait, wait for school to open back up so I can see you again. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful night.